Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. That's how you dodge that boulder, by the way. Um, this is actually a take two on the ice cavern. Basically what happened was I got halfway through this place. Well, actually more than halfway. And what happened was, and my final run to finish this dungeon, I accidentally did it again that I didn't press the button to record the game footage, which is like the most important part of the whole thing, of course. Because I can redo commentary by simply, you know, post-commentating through this place. So, when you lose the game footage, it's like, ugh. And I actually had to uh, redo the entire last part off-camera, all the progress that I did in the last part as well, which is pretty annoying. Oh, and these are Freezards. Uh, they like to blow freezy breath at you and freeze you. If you get frozen, all you have to do is shake the camera around and uh, shake the camera around, shake the control stick around as well as press buttons rapidly. Um, there's a switch over there. Oh, and that also reminds me, since I'm not doing this place nearly as blind as I've been doing the other places, I'll be able to do this place in record time. By the way, empty out your bugs inside your bottle. You won't need them at this time. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. You won't need them until much later in the game, actually. Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh, uh -oh, never mind. <laughs> I got a little bit worried there. Uh, yeah, I'll notice that there's rocks roaming around this area as well. Hello there, invisible, stinky... Oh, wait, 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 what the... Oh, white wolfos. Hello there. I forgot you were here, actually. <laughs> And there we go. They're they're a pretty weak enemy, actually. They're just like the normal wolfos, except they're bigger, which means that they have a larger attack range, basically. And now oh, there you are. I know there's three of you in here, and you're going to cause trouble unless I get rid of you. By the way, I don't recall in the original game those guys moving around, so that's a pretty interesting turn of events, I have to say. Uh, anyway, now in here there is fire. Well, blue fire, actually. This is what you need the bottles for. Uh, come on. Oh, I just heard another wolfos pop out. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, there's two here. <laughs> I thought I thought the um, the sound effect just the copied itself or something like that. My mistake. Ah, I've got a short memory span. Navi, I know what the blue fire does. And for whatever reason, you can hold blue fire inside bottles. Now, normal fire, you know, needs oxygen to survive, but no, not this blue fire, apparently. Now, you need this blue fire to melt red ice, those ice, red ice prism things that you see throughout the thing. And there's a switch over here. Uh, don't even bother with that skull tool up. I've been through here before, obviously. <laughs> so, I would, that doesn't unlock anything. And see red ice over here? pop open your bottle, and sure enough, he pours the fire out, even though heat is supposed to, you know, rise. Link, don't jump on top of the chest. You can't open it that way. So, anyway, so I guess redoing this dungeon is kind of a good thing, because I was fumbling around a lot, and I, fi and I figured, well, I can get this whole dungeon done in a single part if I just, like, redo the whole thing anyway, and I figured that would make it a little bit easier for me to keep track of what I've done before, rather than, you know, redoing just enough stuff so I don't overdo it and then don't show something on camera, basically. I think you get the idea what I mean here. Um, next place you want to go to is up, up here. Yeah, I already know. <laughs> this actually leads to a dead end with the compass and a skull to law, so we might as well get that just to clear out the place. There we go. <laughs> um, got some blizzard guys. This room was practically just designed to kill you. There's rocks to your left, rocks to your right, blizzard guys in the center. But it's not really that much of a big deal if you just go down the center and play patiently. Okay, this room right here. You'll notice that there's a switch underneath that there. I fumbled around in my original run, but I figured out how to do it. You just take a bomb, you plop it here, and you blow up the ice guy that's coming towards you, and hit the switch. What that switch does is it unlocks this heart piece over here. This heart piece is encased within glass or ice or whatever. So that's how you get that heart piece. Yeah, see how much better this goes when I know what I'm doing. This guy here, best way to do it is to... Ah, I'm frozen. <laughs> is to throw some bombs at him. It only takes two bombs to kill him. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Ah, what the heck happened there? <laughs> 
Well, this room right here is one of the rooms that I fumbled in a lot. As a matter of fact, it took me about 10 minutes to get through this room because I was fumbling so much. So it's probably a good idea that I do this room in a second take as well. It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily a bad part. It was just that it took longer than it had to. So I figured, eh, as long as I'm redoing stuff, I might as well just pff, redo this area anyway, since I'm coming through here again. And since, if you didn't realize, there's ice, this is ice physics as well, so you slip around quite a bit. Well, actually, this actually seems pretty, pretty solid here, so, or maybe it's just me and my bad controlling. <laughs> Anyway, there is the compass over there. Got to do some Song of Time block shenanigans to get across there. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick with these ice guys. Just use Din's fire. And I believe it'll kill him in one hit. Well, I guess it hits him twice, but still. <laughs> if I didn't show that, people will be like, Well, you can do it this way, too! <laughs> Yeah, I know they don't do it in that voice, or they don't actually sound like that, but <laughs> I just thought I would do that sort of dealio to show you. Now, Song of Time, whip out your ocarina, and this Skulltula over here is probably more effort than it's worth, <laughs> unless you want to 100% this game. And believe me, getting all the Skulltulas, the reward, not all that it's cracked up to be. Trust me on this. <laughs> Anyway, one more. There we go. And this this Skulltula right here, this is why it's so annoying and what took me so long to get through this room is because you have to... That the Skulltula is inside that... Oh shoot, I jumped over the ice block. That Skulltula is inside the ice thing and the, the fire tends to fall off the edge for whatever reason. So that makes it exceedingly annoying to get yourself, I mean, I should say, get the fire to touch that red ice. It's more effort than it's worth, as I said. No, no, I don't want to Z-target the thing. Well, L-target. Okay, now get yourself really close to the edge, like, but not too close to the edge, otherwise the fire will go off. Like, right here is good. Now whip out your fire, and hope to God it hits that thing. There we go. <laughs> and wonderful. And that room is taken care of. See how much faster things go when you actually know what you're doing. <laughs> this is probably what I should have done for the whole walkthrough. Is like, whoa, 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 let's do like a test run or something like that. Or I should say a practice run through the dungeon before I go through it again. But alas, I have to do things the hard way, as is my way, I guess. And now... I have just enough fire to get through here, and then I believe this is the last time you'll need to use the fire as well. Well, until you get back to Zora's Domain. And there we go. And the last two Skulltulas are in the upcoming room, actually. You want your... Oh, wait, actually, not the Ocarina just yet. You want your bow, because there's going to be some ice keys coming along here. Ah! And boulders, <laughs> but the bow does nothing against the boulders. This room used to have um, the blocks that you push to get on top of the ledges, but they are no longer in this version. Oh yeah, there's white wolf holes as, as well. Not really a big deal as I showed before. And it seems like they're pretty bad at guarding themselves as well. And I believe there's another one up on top of this pedestal. Yep. Oh, oh shoot. No, no, no. That's what the ice keys do, is that they freeze you, and that's why you want the bow. It's best to take care of them first if you can, but they seem to be hanging out towards the ceiling, and yeah. Anyway, uh, come on, come on, you can do it. There you go. Eat my sword. Night. how did I miss? That is ridiculous. <laughs> it's preposterous. Come on, come on, do your thing. There we go. Now over here. Song of Time. No, 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 wait, 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 I got my ocarina out. At that other icy cove off to your left, you'll want to play the Scarecrow song, whatever you have that set to be. And this creates a block to go up to that fire there to refill your resources. Over here, you want the Scarecrow song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down. Seven A's and a down for me. <laughs> and then you'll be able to take 
I mean, propel yourself, or take yourself up there. Wait, 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 I want to kill off the keys first. Keys? 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 I know there's a second keys. Oh, there it is. Can I, like, snipe it off? Alright, wait, wait. There we go. Awesome. And then there's a switch over here hidden within the icicles. It's amazing what you can do when you, what you, when you know what you're doing. <laughs> switch to this. And put that there. Whoa, 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 that was the same bottle I grabbed there, my mistake. And get yourself up there. There's a Skull Tula. This is number two of the dungeon. And number three is unlocked when you hit that switch that I showed you that was up over there. It is inside this ice. Well, it was ice. Now it's gone. And there's your Skulltula friend, which we have to kill off, unfortunately for him. And now we got to turn that switch back on to make the ice reappear. Will I be able to hit it from here? Sure. There we go. And this was the ice that was covering the thing before. Now take your bottles and refill both of them. Now you just want to... Uh, use one fire, then come back here to refill the other two, because there isn't anything more that you have to burn in this area. I should say melt in this area. And just get yourself nice and close. And for some reason, the fire goes right up on top of the ledge when you're touching it. He just pours it out right on top conveniently. I'm not going to complain, as it's very handy. Get yourself up here. And... There we go. Refill both of them. You don't need any more fire after this, except back at Zora's Domain. Voila! And now get yourself out of here. The last room in the dungeon is coming up. We got three Skulltulas. We got ourselves a map, a compass. I believe that is it. Yes, indeedly do. Yeah, the ice cave is one floor. Look off the ice keys in here. This is a door. Open says me. And now get out your sword. Staphos battle, and this time I'm gonna do it properly. I'm going to show the audience how to defeat these things properly and patiently. I refuse to take any hits. There we go. That is how it's done. I told you they're easy. Now inside here, we're gonna get ourselves a little prize. A very important prize for the upcoming dungeon. So heavy you can't run, so heavy you can float! That sounds pretty bad, right? Well, you need them to sink in water. Hello there, Shik. How's it going? We meet again, Link. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. They have turned into fish skulls. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I was right about that! <laughs> I managed to rescue the Zora Princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the Water Temple. That reminds me, people keep saying, Oh, I, I can't wait to see how you fare against the Water Temple, oh man! Well, I hate to spoil it for you, but I don't want to lead to any disappointment, so I'm spoiling it now. They actually made the Water Temple easier in Master Quest. I think it was because... They figured that the water, the original water temple was too hard, so they sort of reimagined it the way that they imagined the difficulty to be, or they wanted it to be in Master Quest. So they made it less painful, basically. And let's listen to the, <clears throat> listen to our new song, the Serenade of Water. You can use this to warp to Lake Hylia, actually. If you recall, there was one of those. Um, warp panels on top of... Well, actually, I shouldn't... Yeah, I guess I could say it now. There's a warp paddle, panel on top of the water temple. you see seen me walk across it, actually, I believe, earlier in the walkthrough, and I had to swim to a small panel. Or I should say a small place for a Skulltula. And there goes the dungeon. Got anything more poetic to say before you leave? No? That's it? No! 
And she's gone once again. Now, this is what you need the iron boots for. You actually have to go through the menus and switch them on like that. And you can sink all the way down to the bottom. Now, you'll drown if you stay underwater for too long, so get yourself out of there. See that? Now, once you leave the area, take off your boots. Yep, again, you have to go inside the menu. It's kind of annoying, but here is the other room that we are in. This is near the beginning. See this? Recognize this room? And that is the dungeon. <laughs> no problem, man. Well, once you know what you're doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. <laughs> Well, yep, yeah, this is the beginning. I think I'm going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Wait, wait, actually, I'll demonstrate the use of the boots right here just for the heck of it. What you want to do is, I got a lot of life, so I'll be able to do this without any trouble. Jump yourself into the water, sink all the way down into the bottom with your iron boots, and you're going to see some... Oh wow, 1 minute and 35 seconds, I'll never make it in time. Oh man, I'll, oh this is going to be scary. Now you notice there's going to be some rupees there. Uh, you'll be able to breathe underwater once you get the blue tunic, but I don't have it right now. But if you don't have much confidence in yourself to get this heart piece early, uh, you might want to wait until you get the blue tunic, and that isn't hard to get whatsoever, as you can see. Oh, oh, we're never going to make it to the surface. We are never going to make it. Oh, no. Oh, it's, oh, we're going to drown by the time we get up to the top. We have so little time left. Only a minute. Oh, 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 there's a surface. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that bad whatsoever to get that heart piece. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. And this time I'm going to properly save. <laughs>